Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of my uh, Feed the Beast Simply Magic Let's Play. That's me. I'm so bad at this I can't even remember to show myself in the beginning of the video. Hi everybody. Okay. I'll get better, I promise. Maybe. Okay, anyway, so here we go. So here's what happened last episode. Last episode, me and Cone and Latch explored a bunch, found a... Um, found a village right by spawn, started sleeping in it, hanging out in it, and then we decided that we hated it because it was built on the side of a mountain, like on the, uh, uh, on the slope of a mountain, and it was just, it was terrible. You had to jump 40 times to get anywhere. So, we moved, and from the map, which doesn't work inside, let's see. Creeper's probably gonna blow me up. Nope. Right. Um, from the map here it was spawn. We just walked along here. Look at this terrain generation. It's amazing. I am in love with this new alternate terrain generation. I do see a creeper on the map. Okay. Anyway. Um, so we found this village and we decided it was much flatter and much better. And this is where we're going to initially hole up. We're not going to always live in a village. Not even for very long, actually. But we just want to get some materials and get started. So, the first order of business, I'm going to try to get Ar Ars Magica set up, like, right now. So, I need to gather the materials. First, we need to get a farm. So, we need to get sugarcane happening now. Let's see if I have any. So, what happened was, I logged out because I had a baby who woke up while I was recording, and I had to go. So I logged out. Look at that creeper just standing there, waiting to explode. I logged out, and they moved a couple of chests of stuff over here. I think it took, them, took them maybe a couple trips. But they did move it, and that leaves me. Now I'm back, and they're offline. They are on European time, so I'm American time. It is very far apart. It's like five hours apart. So, let's see, what do I need to do? I need to start to get organized. I have some sugar cane, great. I have a little bit of that, good. I need leather, books, sugar cane, and I'm gonna need witch wood, great. Um, that's probably good for now. Let's see what they brought. Ooh, witchery stuff, interesting. Continuous stuff. Much but nothing. Okay, that's cool. So, what we're going to do first is we are going to harvest this wheat. Jump. I know I'm jumping on farm ground, right? But I want to plant. I want to get sugar cane going. Okay. Oh, that's so weird. Here's where the biome changes. Look at that. Yellow, green. Yeah, I'm using John Smith Texture Pack, pack too. Just 32 uh, bit? Is that the word? I don't know. 32 resolution. So, um, I like it, and my plan for the server, I tend to be a rather large, ambitious builder. So, my plan for the server is going to be to have um, uh, a rather large... Uh, base of all the different magic things. Look what I just did. I just did that. <sighs> anyway, and so the base is going to have um, all the different magic things that we could want. Uh, different buildings. Uh, I kind of have a plan in mind. I saw a, a time lapse of a very cool build once, and I'm going to take that, basically steal it completely. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm going to go harvest three of the sugar cane I just planted. That'll be okay, as long as we have one. Uh, I forgot that I need a book already. Anyway, so I have a plan for my eventual base. So this base is going to be just kind of long here long enough to um, get us geared, get like um, at least some armor, maybe some sort of production. I don't know what we're going to do about like a... Um, a quarry. There's no extra utilities in this pack. So the only quarry I can think of is a Thomcraft quarry. I mean, that's not ideal. But... 
Mm, I don't know. I know if I get my magic level high enough for Ars Magica that I can mine really fast. But, on the other hand, there's no ender chests. There's just, like, the vanilla ender chest, which I guess will work. Especially since there's just three of us and we're all, like, kind of working together. So, there it is. Oh, man, I couldn't find that. Alright. Three, so I just need paper. Um, so, if, if I'm out, I know Railcraft is in this. And Railcraft has a chunk loader. So what I could do is I could chunk load um, base and then dump stuff in an ender chest. Ender chest emptied into a hopper into some sort of sorting system. There's no applied energistics, of course. So I think that the best bet is probably going to be, oh man, maybe Thomcraft like sorting um, sorting golems. Hey, hey, Ars Magica. How's it going? All right. So now, before I just blindly plunge into Ars Magica, what I'm going to check is, I'm going to check my hardcore questing book. Now, my plan is going to be to not, not really um, do a lot of questing whenever I'm playing by myself. Sometimes it'll be me by myself, sometimes it'll be me and Cone, sometimes Cone and Latch, whatever. They actually do, are doing some recording for the first time themselves. Um, I have it on me right now. Okay. I'm just going to put this down. It's, uh, I don't know why I need two, but I don't need two, but I need space in my inventory. So, I'm going to try to do the questing whenever it's all of us together. We're in a party. So what I think is, if I turn in a quest... Oh, yep, sure enough. Because he did Witchery, Batania, I did the Ars Magic one. So Cone must have done Batania. So then I get the reward. And the reward is a reward bag. Well, that's cool. It's interesting, though... Because I, I don't want to, like... I guess he probably did the reward? I don't know. Yeah, this is really interesting. I want my reward bag, but I don't want to like unlock any quests he did. Hmm. Well, what I, I am going to do, I'll do the Ars Magica one. Because I just did that. Ars Magica, yes. Great. Now let me see my reward bag. After I get some freaking wood... Um, I'm going to try to keep this uh, PG, maybe PG-13, but um, I don't promise that the first time I get blown up by a creeper, I'm not going to um, let one fly. So I'll do the best I can, everyone. Anyone. So let me see what I, I need to empty out. I need all this to be out of my inventory. Everything that I don't need yet. Well, <laughs> oh, man. I need wood in a bad way. Okay. Let's just get some cobble and let's do what we need to do, which is cut down a bunch of trees. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to show of this stuff. I think I'm probably going to show quite a bit, at least initially. <laughs> is that overkill? Maybe it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go find a tree. Not... Uh, I, I really... I'm not a fan of these savanna trees. I forget what they're called. Like, are they called... Arcadia or something? What? what? I don't know how to say that word, honestly. <laughs> Acacia? Acacia, maybe? Oh, that's embarrassing. Maybe I'll edit that out later and just edit in the right pronunciation. Yeah, I don't really know how to edit either. I, um... Look, guys. This is the first time I've ever tried anything even remotely close to this. So this is totally new to me. I see that witch farm. What kind of tree is that? Super green tree. Oh, there's probably not even rubber trees in this. Is that the same one? I was tricked. It just looks it just looks so much better in this, in this biome than the other one. Um... Yeah, so, uh, 
Are there any oak trees at all? What biome is this? Come on, man. This is Sunflower Plains. There should be oak, right? What's what's that over there? That looks like the same one. I do like that witch wood. It is. It's the same one. Ooh, a Thumbcraft. A Thumbcraft, uh, Eric Totem. That'll be helpful. Ooh, look, a Thumbcraft dungeon, too. All right. I think that this... Yeah, it is. Okay, great. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to immediately... Oh, yeah, and also, guys, terrible news. Terrible news. But we do not have fast leaf decay in this pack, and that is such a such a drag. Ah, oh, I mean, life without fast leaf decay. I've gotten very spoiled on all the different infinity servers that we've done, which is um, at this point quite a few. I just can't. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're we're doing a server that doesn't have it. I, I took it for granted that basically everything would have. Ah, uh, okay. <coughs> See any uh, sheep around? No. Nope, nope, no sheep. Okay, so back to town. Ah, oh, there's a spider already. Well, that didn't last long. Maybe I need string. Do I need string? Ouch. Okay. That hurt a lot. I guess that's what you get for only having a wooden sword and no armor. Mm-hmm. Anyway, no fast leaf decay, huh? So, farms. Oh, there's an Enderman. Mm. Do I dare try to take on an Enderman without... Nope. 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 Nope, I don't. Well, this is good. I actually am pretty sure I have not saved my, saved my spawn yet, so... This should do that. Great. At least I have some carrots. It's nice. Nope. Great. Okay. Back out. What are these? Potatoes? Hmm. Also, simple things, but... I don't know what that feed the beast thing is that lets you just kind of right click all your crops and it'll immediately take and hey ours magic flower um, take all your all your seeds and immediately replant them but man I'd love to love to have that in this pack but it's not but lots and lots and lots and lots of witch woods are they're just everywhere that's cool I don't know if that's part of terrain gen or what I'm gonna need you I need a feather didn't get one. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have bred one of those first. Alright, so we're going to chop up a bunch of trees, replant them. This is not going to be the tree farm. It's way too far from, from our little town, but as there's no fast leaf decay, I gotta take the saplings when I get them, so... That's it? Two? Mm. Um... What else is there to tell you about this series? I definitely will not show all of my mining, I just don't have enough to say. Oh! Jungle! Really? Really? Well, that's really interesting. I don't know why that's here. What? 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 Um, it's a tropical shrubland biome. That's so weird. Oh, I see what's going on. There's an there's an eldritch guardian right there. That guy will totally own me. There he is. Look at him. Um, I'm going to go a different direction, I think. <laughs> oh, man. I guess, uh, I thought those only spawned based on, um, 
like your your uh, uh, shoot, what do you call it? Um, your insanity level. But hmm, I have no insanity. Level. I'm not even done a single thing on Thomcraft, and he he sure spawned right there. Well, that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to look out for, I guess. I'll tell the tell the other folks that that thing is active even without without your insane meter. This is this is not that great of a uh, oh there's one one log. <laughs> I just need a bunch of wood. Okay. There's a great wood tree. That will be nice later. I don't know. I guess I need to keep cutting down these little ones. So my first order of business is I'm going to go after um, the Ars Magica mod. I love it. It's my favorite mod. It's actually the mod that got me into into playing this my, uh, mod of Minecraft at all. Initially, when I first started, I only played vanilla for a long time. I've, I've had a a vanilla server, and then we switched to a group of us switched to a realm and did that whole thing, and it was cool. And then I saw um, someone, uh, I don't know, maybe Direwolf's uh, video on on um, Fars Magic, and I, I could not believe how cool it was. It was like, oh, this is everything I've ever wanted Minecraft to be. It's the greatest. It, it just took me back to, I don't know, it's something like Dragon Quest when I was a kid, you know, a lot of those same sort of spells and things, and except for it's Dragon Quest that you can actually play and build and you can write the story and all that stuff, so... Um, about me, since this is like, um, hey, there's a, there are a few. Should I kill them? <sighs> Probably not. We might want to farm these later. I really could use a sleeping bag, though. My need for a sleeping bag is more than, more than the, the eventual pain of trying to get these guys back home without a golden lasso. Uh, yep. How many do I got? I need... What's this? Oh, what am I thinking? Is sleeping bag extra utilities or, or open blocks? Yeah, it must be open blocks. Nice. Okay. And the recipe is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I need 6 wool. Man, 6 wool this early is brutal. There's a few more. Put these guys too. It'd be really nice to be able to come out here farming and doing whatever I'm going to do and have a sleeping bag just on me that I can just skip skip all the mobs, especially now when I'm like way under geared and don't have anything. Five, six, I got enough. Great. And still enough to breed for later. Perfect. So, about me, what I like about this game, I. I love the mods. I love figuring stuff out. I'm not as big of like a automation guy, maybe as other people are. I think that stuff's really cool, and I love watching the videos and learning. Hey, look at that cave. But um, I tend to be more of kind of a, kind of a builder, I guess, kind of like not role playing by any means. I uh, I can't I can't get down with that. I think it, it's cool for people who do it, but it's not really my bag. Look at all that. Ah, uh, it's so small. Hmm, maybe not that small. Is that zombie? One, uh, several more times, come on. Alright. But what I like, instead of, instead of really like world building, uh, or I like world building instead of like, um, uh, RPG, and I don't mean like write the storyline, but I mean write, maybe make a, a foreseeable place that, that that um maybe elves could live or hey this is great oh man it always hits one hit before I hit it all right I need to get out of here I my sword broke let me grab some coal okay this is good I'm gonna be able to come back here and mine at least for the early stuff. Anyway, I like to build worlds, so like I like to build rather large, um, I don't know, large, interesting things. I don't think I'm 
that creative, I, I generally will like scour either the real world or other Minecraft things and kind of take an, an idea, maybe a few ideas, maybe combine them into something that I find to be really, really interesting and uh, detailed. One thing I'd like to get better at is more detail using. Well, I don't, I don't think microblocks is on this. Is this stone? Yeah. Iron. Hello. I didn't expect this. This is not what I came here for, but hey, all right. Iron. Well, this is going great, guys. That's kinky blue topaz ore with an iron pick, or with a uh, stone pick. Actually, what I heard, um, what Cone told me, is that tools in this pack are like pretty much useless after um, after the stone level. So that's really interesting. I think, uh, I don't know if Iguana. No, I don't think they are. Oh, no, because uh, Tinkers is not here, so. Yeah, no Tinker. Which means you really have to use magic. It really forces you to use magic for all this stuff. And that's fine. That's that's the name of the game. That's the, that's the pack. Hey, look at this. Okay, th there there were did not used to be this many flowers. They used to be very rare. Some something some setting has been tweaked in this pack, and that's great. Because man, especially in a multiplayer server, good luck finding flowers after the first three days the server's open for. They're all gone. Let's see what's in my reward bag. Really, really, four cobwebs. Ugh, oh, that is such garbage. All right, well. You win some, you lose some. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these. These have not been yet. I'm going to take them. Take them back closer to town so I don't have to come back out here. I'm going to have to come and get, I think, get this chest at least once. But yeah. All right. So all in all, I'll have a sleeping bag. And um, that's not bad. I found some sacking. Just kind of got things started here. This town actually, it's almost a city. It's so big. Look how big this town is. It must, it's like a triple town. I mean, none of us really want to live in a town. I've kind of gone down that road before, and it's cool, but it was cool to do once. I don't think that I would necessarily want to do it again, though. So, let me get to my town. I am going to sleep, and I think actually. That should probably do it for this episode. I don't think we got really a lot done <laughs> today. Maybe, maybe nothing. Even you could argue, but um, we need a lot of infrastructure just to get going. You know, we need a lot of this stuff. So, so that's that's the beginning. That's the way it goes in the front. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna sleep, and then I will sign off and see everyone next episode. That I need to put up a wall around town, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'll just fix it next episode.